Hey, hi everyone. So uh, today I want to show you some sound design tips that you can apply here in Koala. So first I'm gonna show you uh, the result of my experimentation. So um, now I'm going to show you the samples. And uh, basically what I did is uh, <coughs> first creating a kick, then Resample that uh, using the robot effect and then I uh, created a pattern with this note only and I used the comp uh, effect this one and I um, resampled that again then I uh, resampled this one using the reverb, the input reverb and this two, this one is this one but with uh, octave off effect and finally this sample is made of two samples so I think this two to layer uh, samples is really easy. Just uh, let's go. Just for the sake of showing you, <laughs> I can sample all of those or as many as you want. Uh, as uh, but you will need at least one finger to sample. So, for example. Um, So that's very nice, and um, so why is why does it sound like this? Because I uh, was sampling it uh, every time I recorded with reverb, I again recorded with the same effect, so I created feedback. So now I'm gonna show you the process uh, from scratch, in case you want to to learn how to do it. Um, so first, we are going to record a kick. <coughs> <coughs> then we put the re robot effect to that. Then we are going to create an empty pattern. So cr create a um, let's see four four bar pattern <coughs> using only this note. <coughs> I made it uh, long because I'm gonna use reverb. So I want to preserve the tail of the river. <coughs> then um, 
we are going to apply the comp effect to that <coughs> uh, using the hold option At this point, well, you tweak the effects you want to use. I like that, so I'm gonna resample that. Okay, so we have this. Oh. That happened because it's uh, going through the post effects again, but at, actually I like that. <laughs> I liked it, so I'm gonna resemble that. So now I'm going to um, apply an, a reverb from the input effects. Okay, so... Okay, I like this one. So as uh, you could see, it's very important to uh, lower the, the volume of each uh, iteration of uh, resampling. Because otherwise you're going to amplify a lot and it will clip. I will stay at this point and so then uh, you have it uh, now you can use it as a note and if you want to uh, get more crazy you can uh, then uh, resample that again with another effect Now we are going to layer uh, to mix those uh, two samples. So and that's it. And again, if you want, you can create a new four bar pattern. With this uh, new note, new sample. And we are going to put new effects. Let's see. Wow. 
will be super cool to a way to resample the uh, tweaking the tweaking of the effects but I don't know how and maybe by using record song just let's uh, keep this more simple that one I think that's Okay, I like that one. So, oh, what happened? Okay, so here we go. Maybe we, we can pan them. No, I like it this way. And again, I'm gonna bounce them. So you get the idea, and you could still get more crazy, you know, we're doing the same process. But I think that for now it's okay. I like, I, I like this one. Um, so, um... Basically, with what we are doing with feedback, for those who doesn't uh, understand the term, is um, let me show you here. This is this was the first one, the origin. So, in this direction is like the history of feedback and resampling iterations I made. So, uh, what we are doing here is like. Um doing feedback, we are uh, amplifying frequencies that are already on the recorded sound <coughs> because every time you record that sound again, especially in this case using the reverb, uh, those uh, all those frequencies start to appear and make uh, more um noticeable oh, what happened uh-huh so it's very very cool because it's uh like they are um it, you in a way you are revealing sounds and frequencies that are hidden somehow um by amplifying them but uh there is uh, the limit is your your style, your um, your taste, because for me, for example, I stopped here because uh, if I keep uh, f doing more feedback, you get the point where um, one frequency is going to be more uh, predominant like uh, than the others. So it's good to have a balance uh, be between all those frequencies that uh, you are hearing. Also that you have to be careful with the volume, as I said. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Um, what else I 